Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising. A monthly tarot reading November 2019 and bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it actually because these cards are very stiff. Um, I'm going to skip the uh, refill and I'm going to just go cut them after the overhand shuffle and let's see what you have uh, for the month. So the first card that uh, is marking the topic of your month, Taurus, is going to be uh, the full card, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month. That is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the third one, which stands for the intentions, the best intentions you can have throughout the month or the best things you can do throughout the month for yourself and from the uh, environs around you. It is the adjustment or it's judgment, uh, justice, excuse me, in this, uh, in this deck. Then the fourth card here stands for the uh, lesson that you need to learn or why this is happening. We do have the Two of Pentacles. And the last card represents the energies that are to help you throughout this month. We do have the Lust card and uh, in this, it represents the Strength card in the traditional deck. So before we um, pick up the reading card by card, let, let's, uh, let's run them down one more time. So the first one is going to be the Full card, followed by the next, which stands for the Challenges, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the adjustment or the justice card here, and that represents the best intentions you can have throughout the month, followed by the next one, which stands for the lesson that you ought to learn here, that is to be the Two of Pentacles. And the last one, uh, it is the energies that are to help you throughout the month, that is to be the Lost card or the strength in the traditional deck. So uh, we do have the full card and that is the quite exciting. I mean, the whole reading is going to be quite exciting, but the full card here is going to be catalyzed with the Three of Pentacles and kind of correlates a lot with the second card, which is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, but we are going to get there in uh, a minute. So this is, first of all, an inactive enemies. And what this card points, it is that you are going to be very unaffected by the, what is going on around you, by the projects, by the failure of the projects, for example, into your career, or by any kind of shenanigans that are happening into your private life. And for that reason, you are to become more open for the world, you know, more open for, for a new opportunities, more open for new enterprises, for new experiences. And that will make your life to run like an art, right? That will make your life run with, uh, to run with, with, with a lot of muse in it. And throughout this muse, you are to give expression to a lot of your ideas and you are to start getting to know a lot of new people as well, whom are going to start sharing 
your opinion. Because what we do have here, it is a detachment and unaffectedness by those who are criticizing you. And instead of spending time around those who are criticizing you, you are going to start spending more time with those who are sharing your opinion and who are sharing your agenda, you know, who, who are to share as well your the way how you think. But uh, before you can actually establish a, a new beginning, the goal of that beginning or what is going to be the purpose of it is not going to form yet into this month of November. But the, the month of November is going to be a, a pretty, pretty um, productive month for you, Taurus, to... Um, how do how do I say it? Uh, it's going to be a productive month uh, <clears throat> for you to do something for yourself and in generally to uh, to build up a new life for yourself. It's really what we are talking about here. A, a new life that you can start building up like a new relationship, like a new job. And the good thing, it is once again that is going to completely fit with your idea, with your ambition as well and uh, with your emotions if you want to say it that way as well. The full card, it is not the card that marks the new beginning. The full card, it is just before the new, the, the new beginning where we are forming our ideas. And for that reason, you should not concern yourself with how much plights and predicaments you are to face along the way. You, you, sh you should think about it when, the, when, when it actually kind of starts knocking on your door. But right now, you should give yourself to the enthusiasm only of the... Uh, <clears throat> of the fact that this idea is possible to be uh, manifested, the idea of the new relationship, spend time with people, you know, new job, new projects, and so on and so forth. So it does look like that your spirit is going to run wild and there will be a lot of creative chaos as well around you, creative chaos in a sense that you're going to try things. They may not work necessarily, but from it you're going to learn and you're going to try again. And that will, that will inspire a lot of people and you are to attract a lot of uh, followers as well. Uh, at your uh, at your behalf and instead of those followers to criticize you about uh, you know the way how you do things they it does look like that if not supporting you they at least are not going to uh, obstruct you in any way the second card represents the challenges that you need to overcome this is going to be the uh, five of uh, the Eight of Pentacles and is catalyzed by the Sun card. So we do have a passive neutrals here. And the first thing I want to say about a challenge is that you may uh, you may kind of like uh, become a bit. It's not even a disappointment. How do you say it when you have no no eager to try again? It's not disappointment. We do in my language. We do have a word for that. But anyway, yeah, because you may try certain things, you know, are uh, dictated by the ideas of the fool, and just because they don't work out exceptionally well at the <clears throat> at the first uh, at the first try, you may lose enthusiasm to try a new and. That's the challenge, really, because with the four card, it is very unlikely that things are going to work out from the first try, guys, and you got to try again. So that being said, you can't expect that you're going to throw yourself into a new field, new waters, new universes, if you want to say it that way, and you're going to master everything and you're going to brainstorm everything, okay? You got to give yourself a time to catch this eye for the subtleties and then and when you do so, you can uh, um, <clears throat> attend to the endeavors in it with conscientiousness and eventually your idea will become a plan and that plan can start being manifested, but not now. Now, the, the month of uh, November, it is a month where you form your ideas, where you form the idea of the new beginning instead of entering into the new beginning. But before that, like I said, you have to unaffect yourself from a slumbering um, <clears throat> influence and behavior and attachments and strings. Now with the sun card here to the eight of um, to the eight of pentacles, uh, this card does represent a little bit of a um, 
growing stance, I would say, into a peripheral activities and into old endeavors and enterprises. And that additionally can keep your mind occupied of, you know, the idea of the new beginning, the idea of the new goal of yours. And that may waste your time of... Um, figuring the things out in general or th uh, thoroughly thinking through how you are to start manifesting your plan. So uh, while it is good that you can um, achieve some monetary success, you know, into your current endeavors or even some a, uh, a growth in it, uh, that being said, because it's in a challenging position and especially a neutral card, it points that the uh, expanding growth of your peripheral and previous endeavors is very, very, limited and for that reason you need to keep at least at the back of your mind that you are going to need a new goal after you reach that limit and that new goal needs to start taking place or the idea of the new goal needs to needs to start taking place at the start of November 2019 and you know, by the end of the month, probably you're going to have a pretty, pretty good idea. What do you want? How do you want it? And what you need to do in order to take it. So the next card, it is in regards to the intentions. Uh, that the best intentions that you can have throughout this month. We do have the justice with the lover's card. This is in an active support that we do have. And quite a lot of a, uh, I cannot say close calls. But it looks like more as a uh, a cramped activity, and and under cramped activity, I mean, oh, oh my God, it's very difficult to describe it. Uh, it is a, a very similar. Um, priorities that you're going to have and you may find yourself quite baffled which priority you should put first and which one you should put second and uh, intentionally wise the good thing about these cards is there is no right or wrong decision here uh, usually when the lovers and especially with the justice card when it comes around it always a about what you want against what you have to do this is the kind of decision you need to make and uh you have to be uh, accountable toward the situation first and foremost and as well toward yourself but the whole thing the whole uh, environment there when you have to make that choice will require your acute discernment and as well uh, justice law and order are going to be in place so that being said you should not think of cheating in any way you know cheating your opponent uh, cheating the circumstances or cutting corners that is but instead you need to face the the entirety of the situation and of the endeavor and be prepared to face any benefits and circumstances and consequences of it as well but at the end of the day all comes to that intentionally wise is that you need to structure your priorities in such a way that you can finish them by the end of the month and i mean priorities that have been carried on from the past up until this moment you know things that you are yet developing so at the end of the month you have a pretty clear field to start manifesting this new idea or to embark your new beginning uh, the next card, it is about the uh, lesson that you need to learn. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles and it is accompanied by the Devil card. So we do have a passive supporters here. And uh, actually, this was the card that I... Uh, that I said that your environment is going to be quite cramped with activities uh, is because it looks like that uh, not many things are going to go according to the plan, but in the positive way. What I mean it is that I will give you this example. You figure out how you're going to do your enterprise, all right? how you're going to tackle with it. And suddenly tomorrow or the day after, you figure out a, a better way, but a little bit bends your plan, okay? A little bit bends your strategy. So you have to realign your strategy therefore a uh, the lesson that you are to learn here with the two of pentacles and the devil card is all about how to be so adaptive and so uh, playful in order to uh, how can i say it in order to invest the minimum uh, the minimum the minimum means and resources and to pull out from it a maximum 
benefits. And additionally to that, these two cards are, are, are pointing that you're going to learn how to establish control just by it, just by being playful, just by being able to sense from which direction the wind blows and you're going to align yourself with that direction. And it seems that things are going to start miraculously happening for you. But um, in order for you to do so, you need to be uh, keen to keen and acute as well, as well to a, a abandon a certain outdated beliefs, outdated standpoints and even outdated goals. So all in all, what we're talking about here, it is a about some minor changes that are to happen with your strategies and with your plans in general about the priorities that you will have to finish by the end of the month that will allow you to speed up the process. But the problem is going to be that you have to change your plan a little bit. You, you have to fit them there, insert them there, if you want to say that way. So the last card, it is a, about the... Uh, energies that are to help you here. We do have the Lust or the Strength card and it is accompanied by the Nine of Wands. So we do have an active uh, supporters and they all cause, uh, these two cards are all reflecting about your adaptivity. Now, what these two cards are saying, I hope that I'm going to be able to explain it correctly. It is that instead of... Um, going by with the current and you resigning about the changing circumstances, these energies will help you to change the circumstances the way the circumstances suits you best. These are the energies. So instead of those minor changes to be uh, random, you are going to make them consciously those minor and small changes. Now, of course, this is going to provoke a little bit of a conflict in between you and your co-workers, for example, or in between you and your friends or family or beloved people. But at the end of the day, um, these conflicts are because these people does not recognize that that is for the greater good, for not just your good or their good, but for the cumulative good. And you shouldn't waste time or rather like these energies will help you not to waste time explain yourself constantly but instead um, it, it looks like that you're going to present them uh, at the um, established fact it's something we do have into our country you first do something and then you say that you have done that thing so people don't have anything to say about it or even if they do they cannot reverse the fact that the thing is already done so that being said, Taurus, this was your monthly tarot reading for a November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.